Hello everyone, my name's Tommy Flanagan, I'm the editor of Faultline and welcome to a very special edition of the Faultline podcast for a few reasons. So firstly, you might notice that I'm on my own for the first time this week, having been abandoned by my so-called team and colleagues left to fend for myself and write an entire issue of Faultline as a one-man band this week. And secondly, I'm also recording this in glorious video for our YouTube channel. So for those viewing on YouTube, you will have already clocked the, uh, the, the famous uh, Amsterdam beach bar in the, the background to get us in the mood for IBC in a fortnight's time. And for those listening in pure podcast format, then I'll uh, just have to paint the scene for you, uh, I suppose. So um, first things first, I, I just want to blow my own trumpet a little bit and, and say that despite flying solo this week, Faultline 915 looks like a resounding success. Uh, we've got a bumper issue on anti-piracy technologies this week with stories on Cinemedia, Express Play, VXS Orca. We've got Codec developments with both AV1 and LCVC. We've got a really nice virtual production follow-up to last week's Rapid Industry Solutions story with insights from Warner Media. And uh, we've even got Wi-Fi Silicon MA stuff with uh, Salino and Quantena, which is a name I didn't think I'd be writing about uh, again for a while. And our lead story this week is a deep dive into a metadata partnership between Grace Note and Media Distillery, which we've actually properly fully explained because it needed fully explaining, unlike the press release and coverage else, elsewhere, which was uh, really unclear. We've also uncovered that uh, two tier one operators have already signed up for that. So that's a great read. Um, but within all of these thousands of words of wonderful technical analysis and opinion that we published this week, the standout news has been that IBC will go on. So Cinderella shall go to the ball after all. However, and this is a very big however, we aren't holding our breath because that reassurance hasn't been enough for some companies. Um, like Cinemedia, VXS Orca, Adetto, LiveView, uh, which have already pulled out um, and said they, they don't want to attend. Um, and even our, our friend and legendary CSI journalist, uh, Goran, has uh, made the tough decision to pull out. And earlier today, uh, IBC even sent out an email uh, for a poll to count who plans to attend, who doesn't, and who's unsure. And to us, that just smacks of total panic from IBC organizers. Um, but what we can share with you is results of a pre preliminary poll from uh, IABM um, as of yesterday, Wednesday, 17th of November, which shows that only 19% of respondents plan to attend with about 65.7% not going. And that leaves about 15.5% sat on the fence, which is as good as a, as a death sentence for IBC, really, which is um, painful reading. But I mean, what more can they do? They've, they've got all these reduced hours. They create a protected zone, creating a, a walled garden. Only vaccinated, fully vaccinated people can get, get in. But at the end of the day, if people still don't want to go, then even with these safety measures, then that's their decision. Um, personally, traveling is the best part of the job for me. I live and breathe these events for the benefit of our readers, and listeners and, and and partners. So the only thing stopping us is going uh, in, in two weeks time is a, a full on cancellation. Um, and I mean, it would be a hugely ominous omen for the event industry if IBC doesn't go ahead despite all of this. Excuse me, quick swig of beer. Um, but um, actually I just want to say that something that really annoys me is that typically CEOs seem to make the decision on behalf of the entire company. It can be a huge company, thousands of employees, and they put the foot down and say, no one's going. With Which makes sense in terms of pulling the, the physical presence and not having a stand or anything like that. But I think if people still want to go and network, then they should be allowed to still go and network. Um, and I know, actually, in some instances, Companies are planning to do that. They're still going to. I've had emails saying um, people, have, companies are pulled out, but they're still going to have the odd um, person on the ground. So, still interested in booking meetings and stuff. So, fingers crossed that we'll, we'll still be able to get some exclusive stories if it does go ahead from the companies that have dropped out. The the big ones I named, and, and I feel like it's going to be a domino effect, and there'll be uh, plenty more. Um, but uh, anyway, looking at the the situation in Amsterdam 
right now as it stands, I mean, bars and restaurants are still open. They just have to close at eight o'clock and the Rye venue is still in full flow. Um, I mean, this week, actually, it hosted the world's largest marine equipment event. No one's talking about that, are they? Which is which is happening right now during the current lockdown, which is supposed to end by the time, well, by the second day of IBC. So, I mean, um, this isn't a rant to try and convince people to go to an event where they might feel unsafe because I've been naively over-optimistic when it comes to events reopening in the past. I've had flights and accommodation rescheduled as these things get kicked down the road, you know, so I'm fully prepared, prepared for IBC to revise its decision. Once the polls are in and numbers are counted, uh, as it stands, we'll be on the ground. But as I said, I think it's going to be a bloodbath. Unfortunately, this time next week, we could be facing um, a cancelled IBC again. Um, anyway, looking ahead to next week, this is only a, a short podcast this week as I'm on my own. So just whizzing through. And, and next week, we'll be hopefully returning to some kind of normal. Uh, inevitably, disaster will strike our inbox at some point. But we've got the AWS m and &E symposium to look forward to across two days and i guess with that i bid you a thanks for tuning in and give us a subscribe and i guess we'll say long live ibc or maybe not long live nab 2022 april we'll see you then cheers <laughs>